This adorable baby is JJ. He's Jason's brother. His eyes are opening too. He is what you call a red and white party shorty. He also has a sweet teddy bear face. Again, this litter was born on August 5th. Today's August 16th. He's all white on one side. He has a great little face there. Get a little patchwork. Huh, baby? Yes. Again, his ears are up at this point in time, but I do not anticipate them staying up. Look at he's sucking on my finger. He says, oh. We let him suck on our fingers and stuff because it, even though it's not really nursing them, um, it just lets them get used to us, or the smell and everything, so. Um, they have, they're going to have a phenomenal hair coat. It's already thick, as you can see, and he's only a couple weeks old. So as he gets bigger, it will get thicker. And again, this is JJ. He is available. He's going to be probably in the 7 to 9 pound range, just like his brother. But he has, at this point in time, and, and a, this can change, but at this point in time, he does have the longer body. Um, as they grow, as they develop, they're, you know, sometimes they stop growing, sometimes they continue to grow, you just never know. And again, he does have the nice pointed ears like the Yorkie. Um, I don't anticipate them staying up. They are up right now, as you can see. But um, that daddy, which is Mojo, has never gave us a puppy where the ears stayed up. And he is a first generation. Um, so, we generally don't like the ears of our Shorties to stay up. Sometimes some of our like gold ones or red ones, the solid colored, um, they do stay up, which is fine. Well, I think it looks cute. They look like little Ewoks, but, um, you know, we typically don't like them to stay up. We like them to be floppy. We want them to go halfway up and flop over. That is the best look for, that I like. Floppy ears. Huh. Yes. So anyway, this is little JJ. Like I said, he had some little red marks on his tail there. And again, he's only um, 11 days old. So he's not quite two weeks. And his eyes are starting to open, but not quite all the way open yet. So, and we'll do another video in about a week or so. Um, he is still available. Uh, if you look at the party shorties on my nursery page that have already been adopted, he will look like the one to the right, the second puppy on the right, I do believe. So, and his little nose is getting black. Now, uh, they're always born pink and then they change, or they will go into a, a red color if they're going to be a liver or a chocolate. Um, how you can tell a liver or a chocolate shorty is their nose has to be red or dark brown, kind of like a Hershey bar. So, that's how that's how you uh, tell the chocolates. You cannot have a chocolate Very without the pigmentation, which again is the nose is a good off. sign of that, or their eyes, way, or, you, you know, there's different feet. pads on their feet. Each um, of our puppies, but family, for sure, you can always look at the nose, and a liver or chocolate, either have a red nose sure or a dark brown nose, together. like a Hershey bar. Most of our shorties are in the seven to nine pounds when they're brown. But our smallest has been three pounds and our biggest has been twelve. When you adopt a short you can little bit last year at short you will he or she probably will another, come another home couple days and they'll be open. Warranty. And again Head insurance. they like to be already marked on. Update on this. Hey box. JJ, you wanna say bye bye? bye? All of our puppies say bye -bye. Are doing early puppy stimulation, neurological stimulation, as well as a ten point aptitude testing by our licensed trainer. This allows our puppies to be ready to join about any family, but we are very picky where they go. Our vet gives each of our puppies a 20-point well puppy exam, and he will neuter each baby boy before he comes home, and all little girls can be spayed as well. There is no additional fee for any of our services. We believe our puppy parents and puppies only deserve the best of care and service. If you'd like to adopt one of our wonderful shorty puppies, just fill out my adoption form and I will give you a call. Please remember, we are very limited on our breedings, so we don't always have shorty puppies available. But we can add you to our waiting list if you'd like.
please feel free to give me a call at 1-615-SHORKY if you have any questions about our Shorky puppies or our next available litter. You can also visit us online at www.shorkyworld.com, and we look forward to talking to you. We hope you enjoyed the video. God bless.